What is up? It is Adam the Movie Guy. Before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if there's any videos you'd like me to react to, any movies you'd like me to review, let me know down in the comments. Um, today, I'm going to be reviewing The Menu. Um, it is over on HBO Max. It just came out pretty recently. I think it was released last year. Um, and man, it was a good, uh, fun movie. It definitely kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Um, halfway through, the, not even halfway through the movie, when I first saw um, the main chef, uh, I'm going to be honest, it's, I just watched it. I don't remember some of the names, but, uh, Ralph Phineas was the person in it, was, uh, the person who acted it. And at first I was like, I recognize this guy. Where do I see this from? I knew he was in the King's man. Cause I just watched that recently. Totally forgot he was Voldemort doing some Voldemort stuff in this movie. Um, but I digress from that. Um, but basically this group of people come to the Island, um, to have this, uh, elaborate, elaborate, uh, feast, this meal, um, that they just think is going to be a good food, a good place. This person's well known for, um, being a cook. Um, a couple of them have been there before. Most of them are like food critics. Um, uh, forget Tyler is his name in the movie played by Nicholas Holt. Um, I honestly did not really like his character and I did not get his character either. Um, but there are spoilers to this before you move on. Here are the spoilers. Um, so basically they come to the island and Ralph Phineas, who was the chef, has pretty much planned to kill all of them. From what I understand, he is doing this because, um, explained later in the movie, he says that he is no longer finds the joy in cooking. And the people he brought are food critics that I'm assuming kind of destroyed that, um, destroyed the love for cooking for how much they critique it because he just wants to be able to enjoy it took the joy out from it um so the main character once again i forget her name she's in split and um i forget her name in the movie she was not really supposed to be there nicholas holt's character invited her because his other date dumped him so he hired her to come with him um and what other thing kind of a can tangent he knew that he was going to die he just wanted he was like a cult follower of this cook and for some reason coming to an experience the um the dining and the cook for some reason was worth it to die with him um which makes no sense to me like i'm a if you know me i'm a big disney fan and if walt disney were alive and like hey you get to come enjoy this exclusive thing that no one else really gets to enjoy um but at the end you die i would say f off walt i'm not doing that um i don't care how much i like something it's not worth dying for anyway that i digress from that um where was i before um, so yeah, everybody's going to die. Um, that's what Ralph and his plan. They, all the guests kind of figure that out. Um, pretty, not pretty soon when they get there, about halfway through the movie, they all kind of assume that they're all going to die. And, um, at one point Phineas, the chef sends, um, the main girl from split once again, don't know her name over to his house to grab a barrel, um, to cook. And when she is there, she discovers a secret room, figures out, um, finds pictures of him back like 20, 30 years ago um, when he actually enjoyed cooking, which was a hamburger. He won like employee of the month or something for cooking or cooked a hamburger that everybody really enjoyed. So when she went back and brought the barrel back to everybody, she stood up, said his food was garbage, um, demanded a cheeseburger, knowing that it kind of played on his heartstrings because she knows he used to enjoy that. He already um, proclaimed that he just lost the joy in eating, which everybody in that room kind of um, made him lose that joy, which is why he's carrying out with this plan. So he makes a cheeseburger, brings it to her. Um, she takes like one bite and says, actually, I'm uh, not as hungry as I thought I was. Can I get it to go? And he lets her leave. I think that he lets her leave because even in that split second, she lets him um, bring back the joy that he used to have for cooking when he used to enjoy cooking for somebody. So I think with that, um, he found a little bit of peace and let her go with that. Um, and then once she left, they said there was going to be dessert. They put little marshmallow capes on them, a chocolate helmet on them. And, uh, is a really cool scene. Um, they put all this thing and they like served them. Like the whole room was a palette. Um, and they like decorated it all. It looked pretty cool. It had a shot from above and they, they burned everybody alive. Um, it didn't show that, um, it shows when one of the main girls, she finds a boat, she's off in the distance and she sees it explode. So you don't really get to see them burn alive. It cuts off. I mean, it shows the kitchen start burning, them starting to burn, but it doesn't, sh it's not too graphic with that. And for some reason they don't fight it at the very end. I mean, they're kind of fighting, but I feel like they could have fought more than they were could would have or should have 
but that's just me. I don't, my bad. I don't understand. So they're all sitting in their seats. They're not like um, being forced to sit there. And then the fire's coming and they all just sit there and they don't seem like to be screaming. They all just kind of be, or sitting there like they're accepting it. And I don't get that. I, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they realize they are the problem with it. Um, everybody there kind of had problems. Like um, when they brought these tortillas out, they had uh, pictures on them. Some of them were like tax forms saying they were cheating on taxes. Another one was an affair. Um, so he brought all these people here for a reason. Um, another one was just a critique who closed down a lot of businesses for critiquing movies too hard, or not movies, um, critiquing uh, food so hard. So he had a reason, and I guess they just kind of accepted that fact at the end. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I don't know, if you got this far, thank you so much. Um, please leave a comment. Um, if you'd like me to review another movie, let me know. I will do that or a reaction video. I will do that as well. Um, thank you again for joining. If you like the menu, let me know. Um, I think IMDb gave it a 7.4. I think I gave it a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 or a 4 out of 5 stars. What did you rate it? Leave it down in the comments. Thank you for coming. Peace.